Hey there viewers, welcome back to the Ed the Impala Guy channel. Today we've got Iris in the house uh, for some exhaust work. Uh, this is a project that started a little while ago. Um, she had a bad muffler and uh, when I went, I ordered two mufflers for it because uh, shipping on two was about the same price as shipping on one. So we ordered two mufflers and we went to put them on and lo and behold, uh, this thing had probably had four or five muffler jobs in its life. And instead of replacing the parts, what they had done is just welded on adapter after adapter after adapter. Um, and since I wasn't welding um, and I was going to use uh, pipe clamps, um, this presented a problem because the uh, end of the intermediate pipe, um, there was no way it would fit into the, uh, the muffler. So what I ended up doing just temporarily was grinding off and cutting off all of the previous adapters and getting down to almost... Um, almost the, uh, the the stock pipe and the stock length so I could slip it into the muffler and clamp it down. Unfortunately, uh, a little bit of slip of the grinder made it kind of thin in one spot and, and has since broken through and there's a giant exhaust leak, which was okay because I was planning on replacing the intermediate pipe anyhow. Um, so basically, uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to be giving her a cat back exhaust and... Uh, one of the mufflers is already on. I'm going to have to take the muffler off and it's just clamped on so it'll, it'll be fine. And we'll see over here, we've got the rest of the system here. This is all by Walker. Uh, we've got uh, the passenger side muffler, the driver side muffler I'll pull off from under the car. Uh, we have the intermediate pipe and the resonator. And basically that's everything from the catalytic, catalytic converter back. Um, and the reason for this is that everything under here is welded and without a welder and the, out the ability to, um, you know, cut things off and weld them back, you know, the, these basically I had, had to make it a slip joint so I could use clamps. Um, and the, the farthest or the nearest thing that had bolts on it was uh, the end of the resonator where it meets up with the catalytic converter pipe. Which is actually okay because it's all kind of rusty under there and, it, and really, realistically these aren't that expensive. Um, I think the, uh, the resonator was $39. The intermediate pipe was $52.55 with free shipping from AutoZone. Um, the resonator came from Rock Auto. Um, the mufflers came from Rock Auto. And the, uh, the intermediate pipe, Rock Auto wanted $145 to ship it. It's a $39 part and they wanted $145 to ship it. Whereas on AutoZone, it's the same Walker pipe same part number and they wanted uh, free shipping uh, free actually free next day shipping to your house so i ordered it up off the autozone website it was uh 52.55 i got a ten dollar off coupon for using honey uh, which is a plug-in for your um firefox browser and so that brought it down to 42 bucks with free shipping um and then i had a 20 dollar credit so it was actually down to 22 dollars with free shipping and here it is. Um, the mufflers, they were like $32 a piece. Um, and uh, I, that was a while back. I had actually ordered three mufflers. Um, I, two for this car and one for uh, the, the Copart project car. So basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to get back under there. And we are going to cut off um, the good muffler. Or not cut it off, but uh, undo the clamp and pull off the good muffler. And uh, then we're going to... Cut the bolts on the resonator to a catalytic converter connection, and then we're going to pull the intermediate pipe and the resonator out and replace it with new. So anyhow, hang on. Uh, i got to get uh, all set up under the card where you can see, and uh, we'll get all this stuff replaced. All right. I can't really find a good way to um, position the camera so that I actually record. So I'm going to pause you. I'm going to buzz this uh, muffler off, and then... Uh, We'll, we'll uh, buzz you back on. Okay, hang on. Okay, folks, we got that buzzed off, and you can see just how mangled that was. And take a look at this end of it. And this is just a mass of uh, metal. It's all buggered up there, and you can see underneath here. 
where it was leaking. So, anyhow, we'll solve that whole problem um, with the new parts. Okay, folks, here's an update. We've got everything successfully disconnected. You can see the uh, resonator and the intermediate pipe and everything else is laying on the floor. Um, one interesting thing I did note is that this old resonator has studs. Um, which is kind of interesting because everything that I've seen on the internet as far as ordering replacement parts for these um, doesn't show studs in this at all. So I, and it's okay because the old one does or the new one doesn't have studs. The um, the flange on the uh, catalytic converter doesn't have uh, studs, so we can just bolt her up with some stainless steel hardware and um, and be done with it. Uh, the, the really good news is I didn't have to cut these off. Uh, I actually got some sockets on them and used my uh, cobalt 24 volt cordless impact cobalt. Not a sponsor, but man, it does a job. That's for darn sure. Uh, the one side, a 14 millimeter fit on. The other side was so corroded, I beat a 12 millimeter on there and just let her rip and uh, off she came. I had to use a, a swivel on it as well and uh, the <laughs> socket flew off the swivel and the, the socket went somewhere and it, it took me a minute to find it. But anyhow, uh, we're going to drag the rest of this piping out of here and um, we're going to start uh, bringing the new stuff in. We will um, kind of put it on there loosely with some clamps and uh, just so that it doesn't fall apart but leave it uh, leave it uh, loose enough that we can adjust it and uh, get the hangers uh, all mounted and get everything up and straight and there she is we got her all tight in the factory specs we got the hangers all back um, like I said I, I did this with uh, pipe clamps instead of welding um, at some point if I if I pick up a welder I may actually come back and weld this I don't know we'll see how it goes but it, we should be okay you can see down there and let me go the other way and we'll get the muffler end of it and then here we are in the back there's the uh, driver's side muffler which we had put on here before and then uh, the passenger side muffler which has uh, never been installed you can see we got the hangers um, hangers hanging everything's tightened up there's a another hanger right there and then another one right there by that jack stand and that's it and then plus the two donut hangers right on the uh um right by the catalytic converter and that's all there is to this exhaust system um other than if the only thing that would you know uh the only other thing that would ever need to be replaced is that catalytic converter and that um uh, and the uh, the you know the exhaust manifolds or the crossover pipe um, that catalytic converter aftermarket is running about 250 bucks. Um, OEM is over 900, so uh, I don't think we'll ever be putting an OEM um, catalytic converter on this thing. So the difference between 250 and 900 is uh, quite extreme. So anyhow, folks, this is uh, this is uh, all put back together. It's time to start her up and uh, make sure there's no exhaust leaks. So hang on, I'll put you on a tripod and we'll get a cold start. Okay, she seems to be purring like a kitten. Um, no leaks. It's kind of quiet. Um, go around here and give her some revs and see what that sounds like. It's very quiet in the uh, passenger compartment.
right, nothing left now but to um, get her down off the jack stands and the blocks here and uh, take her for a test drive. Okay, here we go. We're going to take her for a little rip up and down the street, maybe around the block, maybe to the corner and back. Don't know. But anyhow, as you can hear, or maybe don't hear, it is nice and quiet. Ah, purring like a kitten. Purring like a 3.9 liter kitten. Anyhow, here we go. Back on out of the garage here. It's a gorgeous day out, like one of the few very nice days we have here in Michigan. So I think after I get done cleaning up with this and making some dinner, I will be mowing the lawn because as you can see it needs it Whoop. that was my garbage can oops and paying attention to the camera and not paying attention to the garbage can yeah big dummy Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, she's nice and quiet. Now you can hear all the strut rattling going on. gorgeous day. Nice day for a drive. Yeah, we'll turn around here at the old party store. Hey there horsies. Hey there old timer with his fishing pole. kind of funny how um, different regions have different um, names for things. Uh, growing up in Chicago, something like this uh, little corner market here um, would have been called a, a corner market or if it just sold alcohol and beer um, only it would have been called a liquor store. Um, here they call them party stores. Uh, that's one of the things I had to get used to when I moved, or moved up here was uh, they call the, you know, the the places that, you know, sell alcohol and, uh, you know, packaged alcohol, uh, party stores. And what if you're, you know, not partying? What if you're just drinking alone and, and silence and, and depression? What if it isn't a party? Who knows? But anyhow, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, you know, it's, it's like, you know, soda and pop. Up here it's pop, Chicago it's pop, anywhere south of the Mason-Dixon line it's soda, or if you're in Georgia it's Coke. What kind of Coke do you want? Well, how about just Coke? What kind of Coke, honey? Um, regular Coke? Oh, you want the Coca-Cola. Yes, yes ma'am. Um, and then there's bag and sack. Uh, up here it's bag, put your groceries in a bag. Down south it's put your groceries in a sack. Um, there's a ton of more. Uh, those are just the, the top three I can think of. But anyhow, do um, you have any uh, uh, things that are, are just pertinent to your area? Write them in the comments and uh, let me know because uh, it's always kind of fun. 
there's always uh, the local dialects and the local uh, local names for things. But anyhow, uh, looks like we have a successful muffler job. She's running quiet. So quiet I can hear those rear uh, springs, uh, struts, rattling around. And um, that'll be the next major project. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put a decent uh, set on this thing. And uh, realistically, the only ones I could find that fit 18-inch wheels were uh, KYBs from uh, Rock Auto. And for the set of four, um, we'll end up costing right around 525 bucks. So, but um, it definitely needs it because they're, they're rattling around. The other project we have to do, which I was thinking about doing tonight, but um, but uh, I think we're going to put it off for another day, is the uh, right front ABS uh, wiring harness uh, needs to be replaced. I'm going to grab the one off a of crash. Um, it's only, uh, it's less than a year old. Uh, and really at the time it was uh, crashed, it was less, uh, it was probably about six months old. So I'm going to grab that off a of crash. I'm going to put it on this car and, and we're going to get rid of the, um, the error messages for the erratic uh, speed sensor and the right front tire, which is really, really common and typical with these. But that'll be another video. But so anyhow, that's about it for this video. Smash the like button if you're so inclined. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like it and tell me what you didn't like down in the comments. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and uh, go ahead and smash that notification bell down there and uh, you'll be uh, notified of any new content that I upload. Until then, y'all have a great day and be safe out there and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace!